Hey guys, so I'm back with book six in the Goosebumps series, Let's Get Invisible. And this one's about a kid named Max, who on his birthday finds a mysterious mirror up in his attic. And him and his friends and his little brother all take turns, like, take, like disappearing. They find out that the when you turn on the light switch, it turns you invisible. And it's all fun and games at first, and they all have fun um, disappearing, so to speak. But the problem comes when each time they try to reappear, it takes longer and longer and longer. And things aren't helped by the fact that one of his friends is a noxious, competitive jackass who's always trying to instigate things. And he's always trying to like, hey, let's see who can go the longest without coming back and things like that. And then Max's little brother, who's also an obnoxious little prick, also decides to try to take advantage of the situation to the point where his little brother disappears completely and is invisible but he's causing all this havoc and mayhem whereas Max is trying to be sensible and keep this thing a secret from the grown-ups and his little brother doesn't have any concept of oh this is serious shit we're messing with here <laughs> to the point when he disappears completely and turns completely invisible like his parents are like you know where's your brother and Max is like oh he's sick and then his little brother's like trying to like freak everybody out and everything but only max and he's trying to like stifle his behavior before he makes it obvious that his brother is invisible uh the big reveal at the end turns out that um some of these kids that have disappeared come back as mirror copies uh, the real kid has been sucked into this mirror world and a copy has replaced them in this world and you know max notices that like a kid that may have been like left-handed is now right-handed and things like that and they're just like oh no no i've always been this way you just saw me from this angle kind of thing they're kind of pass it off and max himself almost gets taken into mirror world but at the very last minute uh you know uh frees his brother from the mirror world or so he thinks and it kind of ends on that like cliffhanger of like oh shit the real little brother's still in mirror world and i have the uh clone here uh it, it's an interesting premise it could be like a, a twilight zone episode or maybe even a tales from the crypt episode uh it's one of the better books in the series and pretty original premise um uh, that's not really in a, kind of talked about it's not like a typical ghost story or a typical vampire story or even a typical mummy story like i just talked about before uh so yeah it's a unique premise and it's a pretty creepy i can see kids being like oh that's that's fucked up. Like, what if that actually were, could happen? You know, that idea is chilling. So, yeah, that's kind of my thoughts on Let's Get Invisible. Um, I read it a few more times than the other ones, and I like it more. It's one of the better ones in the series. So, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll be back with the next video, which will be United of the Living Dummy. So, till then, I will see you later.